In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Indiana Jones and the Great Circle Renderer Setup Error English Missing Vulkan Device Extensions. So in case you are getting this error over here that looks something like this and it says this text over here on the screen, we're going to talk about how to fix it and if it's even possible for your case. Now if you are getting this error over here, this means one of two things. Now the first one, which we're gonna hope it is, is that it means that your driver doesn't support the following commands, so these over here, or your Vulkan device. So either your drivers aren't up to date to have this extension included, these over here, or your Vulkan device, also known as your GPU, simply, unfortunately, does not support it, and you will not be able to play the game if that's the case. So, if that's the case, as I said, you won't be able to play the game with your current GPU. However, if the error is occurring because your uh, drivers aren't up to date, we're gonna fix this right now and see if the game will work for you. So, you can try the following if that's happening to you. Now, you can try downloading the game-ready drivers from NVIDIA app or GeForce Experience or AMD Adrenaline in case you've got AMD. I'm gonna show you how to do both. So, in case you've got an NVIDIA graphics card and you want to download the latest version of the drivers, the easiest way to do it is by downloading GeForce Experience, which is this app over here. Type it in Google. It can, you can download it quickly and easily. And then once you download this, so you want to download this GeForce Experience or the NVIDIA app, so both will work. It doesn't really matter because they're similar apps. And once this opens up, in a second over here, it will ask you to essentially create an account, okay? And then once you create your account, you'll be able to see this screen over here. You wanna go to drivers, the second tab, and in here, you wanna click those three dots up here, up top right, and make sure you choose your driver preference and select game ready driver. Click on game ready driver, which will provide the best gaming experience. After this, press check for updates, and then press download over here. Then just follow the instructions on your screen. It will show you how to essentially install the new driver. It will basically do it automatically and very quickly. Now, once you've done this, try running the game and hopefully that will fix the issue for you. You can do the exact same th thing in case you have an AMD um, graphics card. So you wanna download AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. And then in here, let me open this up, there we go you'll see an option to update your driver as well in case you've got any updates. If that still didn't work, you can try opening the game as admin. And the way we're gonna do this is first <clears throat> by completely shutting down Steam in case you're playing via Steam. So the way to do this is as follows. You'll have to essentially exit Steam with the X button and then right click on down here and then simply press close Steam and then open it yet again by going to the search box typing in Steam, right-clicking on it, and pressing Run as Administrator. Now, it may ask you to put in your admin pin. If it does, just put it in. Nothing bad will happen. And then it may ask you that you want to, you have to log in again inside Steam. If it does ask you to log in, just log in with your username and your password, and your Steam will essentially load up and log in, just like that. What you then want to do with Open Steam as Admin, you want to go over here to Library, Look for your game, click it, and then press the play button over here within Steam itself. This is very important and it's the most important step. Do not click on your desktop if you have a shortcut over there, but run the game within Steam. So <clears throat> open up Steam as I just showed you and then run the game from here from the play button. This should fix your issue. However, if your issue still persists, we can try one last thing, which is to verify the integrity of game files. And we're gonna do this by yet again going to library, right clicking on your game, pressing properties, and then over here under installed files, you wanna click verify integrity of game files. This will scan for any bad and missing files inside your directory, and then replace them and fix them if it's needed. Now it could take a few seconds up to a few minutes, depending on how many errors your system can find. After this, try running the game and see if that works. If that still didn't work, <clears throat> then unfortunately, I may have to disappoint you because likely the issue is happening for you, to you because your GPU simply doesn't support the game and your only and best bet would be to essentially get either a new graphics card, play on <coughs> a cloud gaming service like NVIDIA GeForce Now, 
or maybe even get a better computer or simply borrow it in case you have the option to do so. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.